All right, so the Nike Epic React Flyknit has been out for over six months now, and I wanted to give you guys a follow-up video and let you guys know my thoughts after the hype of this release. Let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the links in the description and happy shopping. And if you guys are interested in buying a pair of the Nike Epic React Fly Knits, check the links in the description as well. So this shoe in my opinion is definitely one that is worth trying out if you haven't given it a go yet. I still remember the first time I tried on my Epic React Fly Knits in the gray colorway because these were amazingly comfortable and I was really surprised in what Nike delivered with this React technology. This midsole was so incredibly comfortable. I couldn't believe how incredibly soft and squishy this material was. But I also was very skeptical because of the wear and tear, the visible wear and tear of the shoes. I thought that these would have disintegrated or just fallen apart after lots and lots of wear. But it seems that it's more of a cosmetic defect. And just for clarification, this section here, here, and here, it looks like they've worn down, but it's actually just the way that the pattern looks. Um, it was deceiving to me originally, but it was also paired because uh, in some of the high traffic areas, you could see the bottom layer of the foam was actually removed. And I thought it was just going to get worse and worse. But... Time after time of wearing these things, it was not the case. So these actually proved to be much, much more durable than expected. And because of that, I wanted to follow up with this video and let you guys know that that was a misconception that I had originally. The visible look of the shoe might look like trash, but the actual longevity of the material is actually quite good. So that was something that I definitely thought was worth noting. The discoloration of the sole is just another thing. It is, it is what it is. But So I reached out to you guys on Twitter as well and asked you guys what were some of the things about the shoe that you guys liked or hated, and I got a ton of replies from you guys, so I wanted to cover some of your responses uh, right now. So Sawyer Phillips says the things that they love about the shoes is the more you wear them, the more comfortable they get. They fit really well and have a beautiful design. Some of the things that they said that they hate was that the indents on the soles fill with dirt and are really not that easy to clean. That's kind of an interesting call. Alex Tapia 14 says the price point, uh, maybe if they would bring it down a little bit in the colors. Right now they're 50-50 on good colors. I think that they're saying those are things that they don't like. OTT Blake says that they love the thought and design about the shoe, but they have wide feet and they don't fit them very well. MRAM7711 says that they're comfortable, but they have more of a hard bouncy feeling and a narrow fit. Can't touch boost and aesthetically they look good for the gym. I feel like these are definitely squishy and comfortable. There's definitely better ones on the market though. The Element React is a better option if you want that crazy squish in the shoe. These ones are really crazy. And the Vapor Streets are crazy comfortable as well, but the downside is they're really, really narrow. Joseph C says that they love the shoe, but they would change the traction, something more durable, which is a good call as well. They do have a knockdown version of the shoe called the Legend React that actually has way better traction than the Epic React, and it was only $100 for those that are interested in a pair of those. I'll link them as well. Euro Tuner says, very little to complain about, and they prefer these as trainers over boost. They said that they look a touch bland, and the tread underneath is shallow, and seems like they may not last super long. They're only minor complaints that they have. JFC2797 says that the pros Flying it upper and react midsole equals super comfortable all day long. Cons are that they're hard to put on, have excessive react exposure, creates a bad look. All in all, great shoe nonetheless. They wear them casually, not for performance. And as you can see, there is a ton of other comments that people left that were really, really insightful. So thank you to everybody else that reached out on Twitter and replied back and went over all of the things that they liked and disliked about the shoe. I think that there's so many things to note here that I think that there's so many things to note here that is definitely worth uh, me putting them out there for you guys to see. You can see that there's a lot of the same concerns that I really had when I originally did a review of the shoe. The durability, the width of the shoe is definitely something that people complain about. The snugness of the fit, uh, the lack of traction on the bottom of the shoe, the direct contact with the React on the bottom of the shoe as well, the durability and the longevity of the shoe. Uh, some people just don't really feel the React as much as others. Other people love the shoe. They wear these for gym. They wear them for casual. It's a versatile model and they love the fly knit on the upper, they're breathable. There's a lot of pros and cons to this shoe in general, uh, but overall, after the hype, what do you guys think about this shoe? I think that's one that was really, really interesting to a lot of people originally, but since then, it seems like these have gone on sale. You can get them for $120 at least on sale. I uh, haven't seen them hit $100 or anything like that yet, but they do have the lower versions of the shoe that you can get as low as $70. The Odyssey React is one that I saw for 70 bucks, which is a steal. It's a really great, comfortable shoe. Retail is usually 120. And the Odyssey React is actually one that I like 
parts of better than this shoe. You just have to go up a half a size. They definitely do fit snug. Similar to these, I actually prefer these up a half a size. So I went, my first pair I got true to size because that is all I really knew. I didn't know how they were gonna fit. Then my next pair, I ended up actually getting a half size up and I prefer the fit of a size 10 over a nine and a half for me personally. The overall aesthetics of the shoe though, I think is pretty bland as other people mentioned. Just a fly knit upper, a little bit of hyperfuse here and there and reinforcement, and then a nice React midsole. But for those people that want something that you could use for performance and casual, this might be a great option. If you're looking just for more casual, then the Element React 87 or the 55s that are gonna be coming out are a much better option in my opinion. I think that these are great for casual. There's definitely some things I don't like about the shoe. For those that didn't see my pro and con video of these, go check that out because the upper to me is the biggest downfall on this shoe. So the 55s actually might be a better option. I just don't like this upper at all. Um, but I do like the overall aesthetics of the shoe and the overall visible look of the shoe. I think that it looks better um, than just a plain fly knit upper like we get in this shoe. So I feel like Nike has some room for improvement. The best shoe on the market with Nike React, in my opinion, thus far after trying pretty much every one of the shoes that have hit the market is the X14s. Those are probably my favorite on the market right now uh, of just pure React. But if I had the choice, I would definitely go with the Pegasus Turbo. It is definitely my favorite one uh, on the market, just in general for comfort. Overall, next to Adidas Ultra Boost, it's just the best thing. But that is my thoughts on the Epic React, as well as some of your guys' thoughts after the release. What do you guys think they should do for a version two of these shoes if they do like an Epic React 2? I think that they should do a detached tongue. I think that they should use a tongue similar to this if they do such a thing because it's attached and again, detached sort of at the top. Looks better aesthetically, but also more functional and fits a little bit looser for those people that have wider feet. I also think that they should make a little bit more wide feet friendly, but all in all, I think that this is a great shoe that is definitely worth trying. If you haven't tried them on, try them on and see if it is actually for you or not. We all have different feet. We all have different preferences and styles that we like to wear. And these are definitely ones that I've worn, not just one pair, but two pairs and, and really like what um, I ended up putting on feet. It's not my favorite one out of all of them, but it's definitely not one that I would kick out of rotation because it's super comfortable and definitely worth giving it a try. But that's my thoughts on the shoe. Leave some comments, let me know what I get right. What did we get wrong? And if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Much appreciated if you guys do that. And have a good rest of the day. At this time, if you guys want to check some of the other videos on my channel, feel free to do so. And we will catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.